You know electric cars, right? They're vehicles that run on electricity instead of gas. Well, the most expensive part of an electric car is its battery. That's because the materials needed to make these batteries are quite costly. And because of this, it's been really hard to find an electric car that can go a long distance on just one charge and still costs less than $30,000. But wait, here's the exciting part. Toyota has announced something cool. They've come up with a brand new type of battery called a solid state battery. This battery is different from the ones we use in most electric cars today. And guess what? It's going to change the whole electric car industry. Now, you might be wondering, what's so special about this solid state battery? Well, it's cheaper to make than the batteries we have now. This means that electric cars with this battery can have a longer driving range on a single charge and still be affordable for more people. Isn't that awesome? So, thanks to Toyota's new invention, we might see electric cars that can go farther without needing to recharge as often, and they could also be more affordable. This is a big deal because it could make electric cars more accessible to lots of people and help us reduce pollution from traditional gas-powered vehicles. Right now, electric cars can be pretty expensive, with an average price of $50,000. But guess what? With Toyota's solid-state battery, the price of an electric car could be cut in half. That means you might be able to get your hands on an electric car for just $25,000. How awesome is that? But wait, there's more. Not only will these electric cars be cheaper, but they'll also be able to drive over 400 miles on a single charge. That's like going from one end of a city to the other without even needing to recharge. Talk about convenience. Now, you might be thinking, is this for real? Can batteries really do all that? Well, let me tell you about this Chinese car company called BYD. They created an electric car called the Seagull EV, and it's mind-blowingly cheap. Starting at just $10,000, you can get your hands on an electric car with a driving range of 240 miles. That's a lot of miles for such an affordable price. How did BYD do it? They used a different type of battery called a sodium battery. These sodium batteries are over five times cheaper to make than the lithium batteries used in most electric cars today. So, they found a way to make electric cars more affordable by using this different kind of battery. Toyota wants to make sure that everyone can afford an electric vehicle, no matter how much money they have. That's why they came up with the solid-state battery. Even though Toyota has been known for making hybrid cars instead of fully electric ones unlike other companies, they are still working on improving their batteries for more capacity. One of their popular hybrid cars is the 2023 Toyota Prius. It's a special kind of car that can run on both electricity and gasoline. The new model of the Prius can even drive for a while using only the battery and not needing any gasoline. To charge the battery in the Prius, you can use an electric car charger just like you would for a regular electric car. But here's something interesting. The battery can also be charged while driving, thanks to something called regenerative braking. It's like the car is recycling energy when you brake, and that helps charge the battery. Toyota is currently working to make available the solid-state battery for their future electric vehicles, which they plan to release before 2026. They are doing tests on their hybrid and plug-in hybrid electric vehicles to find the perfect type for the next generation of electric cars. The head of Toyota's research and development center, Kiji Keita said, EV batteries can be heavy, bulky, and expensive. They have found a way to make them half the weight, size, and cost. What about the driving range? Usually, electric cars can only go for a couple hundred miles before needing to recharge. But with this new solid-state battery, Toyota's electric cars can travel a hopping 745 miles on a single charge. That's like going on an epic road trip without worrying about running out of power. But wait, there's more. The charging time is lightning fast. Can you believe that electric cars with this battery can go from empty to fully charged in just 10 minutes? Right now, one of the downsides of electric cars is that they need frequent recharging, some affordable electric cars can only go around 200 miles before needing a recharge. Even the fancier ones like Tesla or Ford electric cars don't go much farther than 400 miles. But imagine an EV that can go over 700 miles without needing to recharge. You know how most batteries have a liquid inside? Well, this new battery is different. It has a solid core between its electrodes, 
This makes the battery smaller and able to store more energy, which means it can make a car go farther without adding extra weight. Plus, it's much safer because the old liquid batteries could get really hot and even explode. Now, here's the cool part. Unlike the liquid or gel batteries we usually see, this one has solid parts. These batteries have solid electrodes and a solid electrolyte. They are tough and can last a long time, which is great because you won't need to replace them as often. But that's not all. Solid state batteries also have some other awesome benefits. They charge up faster, have more capacity to store energy, and are less likely to catch fire compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries. Now, the reason we haven't seen these batteries in wide use before is because they have been quite expensive and difficult to make. But scientists have been working hard to bring down the cost and make them more practical. There are some companies out there like Solid Power, QuantumScape, Factorio, and StoreDot, working on making solid-state batteries more affordable and easier to make. But as of now, these batteries haven't been used in any new electric cars that you can buy. The thing is, solid-state batteries have always been a bit tricky and expensive to make, which has made it hard for them to be used widely. Toyota believes they can make the production process for solid-state batteries simpler. That means they could be easier to make than the lithium-ion batteries we have now. By 2027, Toyota is planning to release cars with solid-state batteries, and they're teaming up with a Japanese company Panasonic to make it happen. David Bailey, a professor of business economics at the University of Birmingham, says if Toyota's claims are true, it could be a really big deal for the future of electric cars. Sometimes, breakthroughs happen at the early stages, but it's hard to make them work on a larger scale. In addition to the recent announcement, Toyota is still putting a lot of effort into developing a special type of technology that uses hydrogen. They plan to create a hydrogen factory to make this technology even better, especially for businesses. Mercedes has also joined in by making electric buses that use Toyota's hydrogen technology to go longer distances. Toyota wants to focus on selling these hydrogen-powered products in Japan, China, and Europe. Toyota is determined to make these initiatives a big success and plans to lower the cost by 37% through advancements, efficiency, and local production. They even have a goal to reduce the cost by 50% if they receive an order for 200,000 units in 2030. By doing this, they can make a good profit while making their customers and governments happy. We'd like to hear what you think about Toyota Solid State Battery. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. If you are still watching till now, thank you till next time. New plans for battery tech and EV innovation. The new strategy is meant to improve performance and cut costs of future EVs.